Yo, yo, welcome back to the Winners Club podcast, guys. You are now listening to the best business podcast coming out this year, man, and for the years to come. Number one co host here, PJ Padua, joined no other than our host, Brian Trent. Let's get it, man. And we got a special guest back at it again, Jonathan Sue. Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Cool, cool. So, this episode is going to be a real banger, guys. I really want to bring something to bring a lot of value with you guys so you can go out there and crush it and apply it today so you can make some winning moves. So let's get right into it. I want to talk about uh, the importance of networking and what are your thoughts, guys? I mean, it's everything because through networking, you build relationships through your relationships. That's what really kind of excel your business because it's not about what you know it's who you know yeah and so if you don't know how to network you're really missing a very key component of business yeah and and striving and doing very well in business is the saying the your net worth is your network exactly Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100 percent. so i think it's dude every time that i was stuck Mm -hmm. it was through networking that got me unstuck it was yeah. through networking that got me more motivated. It was through networking and building the relationship that really kind of guided me in the right direction of where I needed to go next. Yeah, yeah. All right. What are your thoughts, Jonathan? Yeah, no, I mean, we're all in, like, the people business. And, like, when we're in the people business, it's all about relationships, who you know and whatnot. And then just you being able to just network with more people, that means more people know you and what you do, and therefore the business will come. Hey, one hundred percent. I completely agree. I mean, we all we all have different, you know, businesses and services. I'm a videographer primarily f- first. Uh, Brian, many shoes, realtor, entrepreneur, business owner, coffee boba, this that, everything. And same with you, Jonathan. You have a media company, and networking is key in in all of our our what we do, right? Yeah. No, like networking has helped me a lot this year to probably get to where I'm at today. And it's probably, I would say one of the most important parts aside from like sales and marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Networking done correctly can become marketing. Yeah. Right. It's just, you never want to pitch yourself like so hard. Like some people just get so consumed Mm -hmm. and we'll segment that into the second part of the episode where we talk about how to network like a winner. Let's do it. But that's kind of what it is. It's getting in front of the right people to where you guys can benefit each other yeah, and take it to the next level. Yeah. I think like, like networking is like almost like invisible productivity, right? When you have nothing to do. It's like, it's, it's one thing that you don't really see the results at all until like maybe like five months a year. Even but if you're a plus. good networker, you can connect the dots pretty quickly. Yeah. Right. Like go out there and, like when I talk to somebody and I'm meeting them, I'm like, well, what, how can I help you solve somebody else's problem? Yeah. And in, in return, it always comes back. Yeah. Like when I network, it's not about what you can do for me so much. It's what can I do for you? Yeah. And when you stack up enough of those, yeah, I, I, you know, it's crazy how everything works. Like you brought up this topic, but you're basically cashing in blank checks. Yeah, yeah. Because you're bringing, you're helping somebody else so much, they're gonna want to help you. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, you're I've, top of mind, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, so I think that's, uh, I think it's a big thing. Jump. Yeah, and I, I actually have a really good example of that too. Yeah, let's do it, man. Like, I remember there's been like a handful of like realtors and clients that I have now where they wanted to do social media videos. That, you know, they wanted to start shooting TikToks, reels, and whatnot. Except they. A, didn't have, like, the funds to kind of invest in to, like, hiring someone and having a whole production team support them. But they still wanted to get into it. And the cheapest way for them to do it is for them to kind of just have their own little setup to do it. So I would even just, like, with my own time, I wouldn't even charge anything. I would just help them set up their studio. And then through a handful of those experiences, they have have since just called me back to even help them edit the videos they were shooting mm-hmm. or even referred me out to any of their business partners or friends that needed editing or any other type of video content too. So it was just me spending maybe like one, two hours of my time with each like client. And then it ended up 
cash flowing in the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome, man. So I want to go ask you guys. Um, so how, how does one network? Cause I mean, network could, you know, maybe to somebody new or, you know, little Timmy, little Timmy's out here. It's like, okay, you said network. I'm going to go, I'm going to go down the street and say hi to somebody, some random person, or I'm going to go talk to my friends right now. Like I'm networking, you know, like how do people network? I mean, the easiest way now, especially with all the meetup groups and everything like that, you mm. can literally go out and just start going to the network groups. Yeah. And the thing is, people go one time and they say it sucks. Dude, I used to go to the same networking groups like for a year straight to where they recognize me. Yeah. And that's the best part, right? Where you kind of become known. So now you don't have to make an introduction. Mm -hmm. Like people naturally will come up like, hey. I want you to meet Brian. He's always here every month, blah, blah, blah. He does this, this, this. Mm -hmm. How much better and powerful is that that I don't have to go out and say, hey, what, hey, how's it going? My name is Brian. I, I sell real estate and I, I provide virtual assistance for people like you. Yeah. Like, bro. Yeah. Didn't ask. Yeah. Right? Now, naturally, they're going to ask but because it's a networking event. But it's much more powerful when, you, when people make the introduction for you and you do that by repetition, going there, providing value, showing up, supporting, and really just being a fun person to be around. Yeah, like, man, I agree. I think that's, like, 100% true, and I think that's so, so, um, you know, big, right? Like, the part where you're saying that, you know, it, people introduce, you know, for you, right? Like, that's the power of networking. That's when you go, and you go to people and be like, hey, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? And then other people are, like, the connectors for you. Right. Just because they remember, they're like, yo, like Jonathan had my back. He's like, I'm going to connect him with this guy because I think he'll help. Right. And then you get like a $10,000 deal off that. Yo, power networking, guys. Power networking. I think the main thing that I would do, and this goes against some of the, the books I read, is yo, that they go out there and they say, my job is to meet as many people in that room as possible, to give my card to as many people in that room. So if there's a hundred people in that room, they go in and give a hundred cards out. Yeah. That to me is not networking unless that is a, like a five day event. Yeah. Right. Where it's a hundred people. And then over the course of, of the five days, I'm going to be uh, talking to 20 a day and building a meaningful conversation with them. Yeah. Right. But I would say that most of the time when you go to a, a mixer or a, a, like a nighttime event where it's two to three hours, Mm -hmm. My job is to really build three to four meaningful connections, real conversations where they will remember me because we talked at a deeper level and not just, hey, I'm Brian. Here's my card. Nice to meet you. I'm a real estate agent. What do you do? Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Next, next, next. Yeah. It's like, bro, it's not speed dating. Yeah, I don't yeah, think. Yeah. Now, you should do some vetting, obviously. Like sometimes when I go into a room, I know who's going to be there. Yeah. So I know who I want to talk to first. Yeah, yeah. That's different. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think some people don't do that. So that's why they try to go and they talk to as many people as they can to find out who's a real player. Yeah. I go in and I already kind of know who's the player. Right? Yeah. Like, so now it's different. I go to networking events and I know that, hey, he hosted that event. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to him. Hey, that guy, he wholesaled 50 properties last year. I'm going to go connect with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now it's a little bit different. That's a strategy. But I would say for the, the new people listening to this and they're just like, hey, I'm going to go out and network. The main thing is, guys, number one, continue to go to that same networking group so that people know you mm -hmm. and you establish that like presence. Mm -hmm. Second thing is meaningful conversation. And the third thing now going into is do not start off with what you do, but Definitely. what can I do for you? Yeah. Service first. Value first. Yeah. Give value, and I promise you, then it comes back. Like, Jonathan did stuff for free. Yeah. That's a value. Yeah. Like, dude, I'll set it up for you. Don't worry about it. Like, hey, you're my buddy. Yeah. I'll set it up. And then they're naturally going to refer business. I think those are the three tips. And feel free to dive a little deeper. There's more to it. There's a lot more to it. We can go very deep with this subject. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, in regards to all the points you just said, like, those were probably the points that I, like, learned as I was like, you know, starting my whole networking thing and trying to meet more people and stuff. Like in the beginning, I was doing a thing of just going up to people, introducing myself, telling them what I do. Mm -hmm. And then just figuring out like, like I first try to figure out if they're a realtor or not. If they are, then I just start telling them what I do. But then 
I just made it all about me. Yeah. I wasn't really providing the value in the beginning. But then over the many networking events I've been to, I've learned that, you know, qua- uh, quality is so much better than quantity. Like having those meaningful relationships, even if it's like one or two people, but if you have that really meaningful relationship and that conversation with them, they remember you, you go deeper than just the usual small talk. Chances are they'll remember you. And then another very important thing to do is after a networking event, message everyone you met. Yeah, Everyone you got a business card from that you connected to on Instagram. Message them, tell them, hey, it was a great time meet, meeting you. Maybe mention something you guys talked about in your conversations. And now you're immediately on the top of their mind. They remember you now because you did that follow up. You thank them. And now they're like, oh, this guy was pretty cool. Like, you know, I might keep him in mind in the future. And then there you go. Yeah. The big thing now is follow them on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Dude. Always get their contact information. That's something that I messed up with too sometimes. I give them my card, but I don't get anything back. And then now there's no way for me to follow up with yeah. them. You leave it up to them. Yeah. Social media is so cool now. Like, honestly, like, people don't want to give their phone numbers. Yeah. Oh, this guy's going to spam me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, the other thing is, like, you put my number in, but it's, like, I can't associate that number with anybody. Yeah, for me, Maybe, that, that's me, how Yeah, I if, you, if you follow up, yeah. But I'll remember you for that one moment only. Yeah. I'll unless remember you I, for your page. And, you yeah, know? and then unless I, I come back to the next event, and, we, you know, now it's like, hey, I always see PJ at that event. Yeah. That's different. But, dude, you go out, and then you just say, hey, do you, do you have Instagram, social media? Yeah. I'll follow you. Honestly, too, like, that's another way to, like to to network show your value also yeah. show your value without like in the moment telling you like hey like i shoot videos and stuff like that it's like oh i'll follow you and then yeah. message them they'll look i mean that's man see that's that's the thing about like social media too like networking can be like through social media too mm-hmm. you know and, and that's the big thing right they're like you don't talk about it at all and then you're just asking this guy like how can i help you how can I help you once he follows you he's like oh i, I did not know you shoot videos you know but in your yeah. head you're like I know he's going to see. Yeah, it really, it just becomes like social proof. Like this uh, last event that we were at on Friday. Yeah. Like I I connected with a bunch of people on Instagram and everything. And yeah, like, you know, I I was holding my camera. So they obviously knew that I was some kind of photographer, videographer. But they didn't really get it. Like they couldn't really picture it until they followed me on Instagram. They started looking through my stuff. They saw my face everywhere on all my reels and then all the work I do. And then they all messaged me saying, hey, you have really dope stuff, man. We might. Yeah, like they're maybe interested in partnering up in the future for many of their businesses, whether they're a realtor, FBA seller, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, it just becomes like social proof. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Before we transition to, I want to ask another thing. But um, do you, because because you're mentioning, you know, come in right and provide value, right? Come in and say, hey, this this. Never talk about you know what you do first. Do you think that you should though talk about what you do? In the conversation. There's a time and a place, yeah. But the thing is, is that when you ask questions and people, um, when you sit there and you allow someone to share, mm-hmm. they're going to leave that conversation feeling really freaking good. Yeah, yeah. People about love you. talking about really themselves. Good. People love talking about themselves. <laughs> no, for sure. I love it. I love talking about myself. Dude, I ain't going to lie. People be like, man, <laughs> Brian was really cool. And literally the whole time, I'm like, dude, they don't know. They still don't know anything about me. I'm mysterious, right? Yeah, but yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll follow me on Instagram. They'll find out who I am. Yeah, yeah. But- it's like they, they they leave with like a very good, like, okay. yeah, man, I had a really good conversation. Oh, yeah, for with sure, for sure. Let's say but ha- then it's up to me yeah. to now end it in a certain way where it's not like someone, hey, but you know, I am got to go talk with the uh, buddy over there. But yeah, like what you're doing is really cool. Um, I actually shoot videos and stuff like that. If you ever need anything, yeah. I think check out my page. You know, we can make something happen. Yeah, right? yeah. And then follow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. I usually but, always do that too. I'm like... But, Normally, like, you're not there to sell anything. Yeah. You're only, like, the thing is, is that if they need it, yeah. they'll they'll reach out to you. No, for as sure. As long as you know, like, hey, I'm in this. Yeah. So let me, let me know if you don't have any questions or anything like that. Yeah. I, if, if I'm shooting content, I'm like, yep. Yeah. I'm thinking about shooting content. I need to call Jonathan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think that's, you know, I think that's uh, super big. I think, too, something that I do, like, you know, this is, for, like, for the listeners, when, you know, we're talking and stuff um, right before you leave, like a little more indirect way to 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 bring it up, you know, is to not be like, hey, I offer this if you need it, but like more like of an excitement, like, yo, if you ever want to do something sick, man, like we should do it, right? And then you'll have your time to close later, you know what I mean? But bringing that excitement to them is it's definitely a cool way, you know, that that enthusiasm will really uh, 
help the networking. So try to try to build a relationship, not just like so. In like yeah. when I was networking way back when, I was trying mm. to find clients, right? Yeah, yeah. But going to that event, the event I went to, the chances of somebody buying that day, that time was probably low. Yeah, I just needed them to know that, like, hey. I would try to gather information. When they hear it, they naturally want to learn more about real estate. And then the whole time I'm thinking, when I, when, with their, now that I have their contact and all that stuff, was, okay, how can I bring more value tomorrow? Like, he mentioned that he wanted to buy nice fixers or, uh, like, with big margins, juicy margins. So yeah. I would send them that stuff. Yeah. That's the only real way. But even then, it didn't really translate to, like, oh, my God, right away. Hey, I'm yeah. going to buy my dream house. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, I mean... You know, I know we're talking about like networking events and what I want to ask is um, maybe like what about like on the outside? I'm going to give you an example, too. Mm. So my girlfriend, right, um, she's uh, she's starting her coaching business, right? She's coaching. She's getting clients right now. She's killing it. Right. But I always tell her, like, if she ever meets somebody like outside, like in the gym, this and that or whatever. You know, I always tell her, like, hey, like, you know, make sure you tell them like what you do. Right. If they're like, oh, like you're talking and, and they ask you just like tell her first thing like yo I coach right make sure they know right um, because you never know if you'll get the contact or this and that but you're going to spark the interest mm-hmm. and I believe in that too and and also too which is crazy um, which is why there's it's so important to have like social media especially you know if you're starting because she doesn't really have so much like stuff to show so that's why I say like it's important to tell them start posting yeah right but um what do you think do you think that like if you're on the street and stuff it, it's yeah important but, it, but to- you know I would say yeah hey yo, what do you like you guys are talking mm-hmm. they're naturally gonna come up like hey, what do you do yeah I'm in tech or yeah I'm a bikini inst- uh, coach yeah 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 let her know but what I think some people mess up is like did you want coaching? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You want exactly, coaching? Like, yeah. bro, I just met you. Relax. <laughs> yeah, Don't yeah, try yeah. to sell me. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know. Even yesterday, somebody came in and they were like, "I want to meet you." And I know he was trying to build the relationship, but he was like trying to sell me on coaching. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Bro, what do you do?" Oh, we practice on implementation. And I wasn't like, "But you know nothing about me or my business, and you're yeah, trying yeah, to sell yeah. me coaching." Like, you see how how? And I was like, "Bro, get out of here." Yeah, like. No offense, it was, it was my friend referred it, so I kind of feel bad, but I kind of don't. I'm like, you didn't ask me about my business. Mm-hmm. You kind of just wanted to tell me that you can do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, a little flat. How do you know I need X, Y, and Z? Yeah. I don't need that shit. For sure, for sure. Charging $6,000 a month. You got to be <laughs> out of your mind to tell me what? To yell at my workers? Yeah. And tell them to stay on their KPIs? Like, I'm sure he does more than that. Yeah. But the thing is with the pitch. Yeah. You got to know who you're pitching to. Yeah. And like, so like, if I'm a realtor, I'm not going to try to sell you because I don't even know if you're looking to buy a house. Yeah. But if you do, or if you are looking to buy a house, I'm going to try to close you for, if you say, after I say, hey, yeah, I'm a real estate agent here in San Francisco. Hey, man, I've actually been thinking about sell, uh, buying a house. Yeah. Closing time, baby. Let's go. You know? Like, seriously? Like, well, I'd love, to, no pressure, but I'd love to set up a time. I like to do this with everybody. Yeah. Because I just want to give you information to let you figure out the next step and the more information you have, the better decision you're able to make. I set up a 15 minute zoom or we can link up. Do you go to this gym? Yeah. Next time you're done with your workout, let's set up some time and you know, I'll sit down and we'll go over the, the whole steps and processes. So you know what's next and what to expect. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Boom. That's when you close, but dude, trying to close and talk about yourself. It, yeah. it just doesn't, mm-hmm. I no offense, but I'm like, dude, I don't, need any of the stuff you just mentioned yeah but see what you screwed up is that like i think we went back to how to be a master salesperson Mm -hmm. how to be better at sales is you need to say hey i just wanted to meet you i'm a i'm a sale i'm a i don't know what kind of coach he is but just i'm a coach and uh you know leave it say what's up man can i take you out to coffee yeah then you you give me something i'm like okay let's go get coffee and then you go hey just curious like what kind of problems are you having right now in your business? Yeah. You know, yeah. What, what can I, can I help you with anything? See, if he had gone there and I would have, and then I would have told him all my problems. Yeah. And he could be like, I think I can help you with that. Yeah. You know, here's how, here's a glimpse. Give me something. Don't try to sell me first. Yeah. Like that's what people get wrong. Like I can help you, but it's going to be $2,000, yeah. $3,000, you know, I'm like, Oh God, here we go. You know? <laughs> Yeah, big. So that's so, where we're at. Yeah, so to tie it in, um, just a little recap for the listeners. You know, go out there, guys, and, you know, ask questions. You know, build the relationship first, importantly first. 
provide value, and then just make sure at the end, not first, at the end, like, they go away knowing, like, what you do. Somehow, some form, whether you're going to show them through so- your social media or at least mention to them in person before you go. But don't hound them, guys, you know? Dude, social media is the best. I'm going to do another plug for the YouTube, the Instagram, especially Instagram, because Instagram has the DMs, mm-hmm. so you can actually have good conversations. Yep. Mm-hmm. I... I've got so many people that I've never met physically, but because we follow each other, we chat on Instagram yeah. when we do meet in person. It's like, dude, I've known you for three years. Yeah. That's yeah. how crazy it is. Yo, right? man. Even the Friday event. Yeah. A lot of people came on like, yo, bro, I know you. Like we've been chatting. Yeah. It's crazy how much people like listen to our podcast and our yeah. Instagram and our YouTube now, you know? Shout out to James. Listen out there. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my boy. <laughs> so that's what it is. And so networking that's one form of networking, but I think social media is the best. You got to get on social media. Yeah. You got to share the world what you do on social because people are watching. Yeah. Even when they don't like your posts, even when they don't comment, like they're yeah. watching. Yo, man, like for real, yeah. like I think social media is, you know, you need both networking, right? You yeah. need in person and you need social media like in this day, right? I want to let everybody know, like listeners out there, you don't need, you know, 10,000 followers. You don't need this. Like, you know, I, I've made like, Yo, all leads off off Instagram. You know, I've done a 10K month just from what, 1,200 followers? Like, that's cool. As long as you guys go out there and build like meaningful relationships, right? Be genuine, do this. Yo, like those convert, you know, and you can yeah. make something out, out of the low followers that you have. Yeah, no, like, I mean, I managed to close, I think, three or four leads on Instagram. Yeah. When I had like three, 400 followers. Yeah. yeah. And, like, my views weren't, weren't like, high they weren't like maybe i had like one or two get into like maybe like 30 something thousand views but then like majority of my reels are like one 200 on average yeah and you, you know could, what people always get so like oh man i only got 100 views yeah. or yeah. something mm-hmm. do you not know how hard like 100 people is a lot of people <laughs> guys yeah, put 100 yeah, people in your room that's right 100 now. eyeballs like the friday right. event was 100 people it was yeah. packed packed and now we're tripping about 100 views because we didn't get like yeah like fifteen thousand guys a hundred Views is a hundred people, and a hundred people is a lot of people. Lot yeah, of people. Like you know, a video doesn't need to go like super viral for you to get business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just as long as that, like those one hundred eyeballs right there that has seen you. If even one of them, like you close one of them, dude, that's already a pretty good deal right there because there's one more than you didn't have before. Yeah, I think so many people get caught up in like the magnified class of things, right? Like maybe even to the point of like even on networking, right? They're just like, oh, I just I just met this person, but. I ain't got no business today. Like, yo, like pull back and look at the the long. It's the picture. long game. It's yep. long game. It's always yep. the long game. It's right. all about nurturing the relationship. Like, yeah, you meet them first, and it's like, yeah, cool. But then now it's like nurture the relationship. Just keep talking to them. Be their friend. You know, yeah. get to know them, and then in the long run, it'll pay off. And that's yeah. networking, guys. Yeah. And the Patience. same time too, build build your skills while you do it. Right. Yeah. When, when there's when there's nothing happening, that's when you build your skills, mm-hmm. and you come back to them and, and you show them that. That's it. Yo, you're you're the best. So, I like this. I like this yeah. this episode a lot, guys. So, I want to ask um I want to ask you guys, you know, like how does one get better at networking, right? Like maybe this person cuz not everybody is a, you know, high energy pumped up guy like Brian you Tran over here. You better you better get there. Yeah. You better fake it. <laughs> like a little bit's fake. How some I'm not always as pumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to sometimes I sometimes I always just be at home. I don't want to be out drinking five, six. You know, I don't drink that much. You know, but like out, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. inflate and go. Showtime, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, because nobody wants to talk to a low energy person. Yeah, you know when you're out there networking, and you will get better because it's just by doing it. Yeah, right. And and just make sure that even if you go out there, just set goals. Like me, I know who I want to talk to, how many people. Mm-hmm. So with you, if you go out to networking, just set goals. Okay, I I just want to talk to three people. Yeah. Right. Start off with that. I mean, obviously try more, but dude, just start, right? I think our motto has always been just start. Just just do it. Set easy goals. The first networking event, I just want to talk to three people, get three Instagrams. Yeah. Right. So I could build three new followers in and then I'm going to communicate with them there. They're going to see what I do. I'm going to see what they do. We're going to be friends. Yeah. Okay. Then the next time, bump up the numbers. Six. Yeah. That's it. There's no magic. Because at the end of the day, this is still a communication skill. Yeah. Right? You'll get better at communicating by communicating. Yeah. Right? That's it. 
Yeah, no, that's honestly exactly what I did. Like, I mean, I come from being like super shy and being scared of like talking to new people, meeting new people. Like in the beginning, I would show up to these events and I'd, I'd be a wallflower. I'd straight up just hang out on the sidelines, just kind of observe, look around, not really talk to people. But then you see, that's not going to get you anywhere. So what I did, I just honestly was just like, you know, I, I have to do this. So I just started off small, started with one. And then eventually, as I just kept going to these networking events, I my confidence built up. I figured out how to, you know, talk to people, how to ask people certain things. And I, you know, learned the whole thing of like, it's not about me first, figure out what they're doing, what problems they're having. And then it's like, it's almost like a structure in a way where you can really just figure out what they, who they are, what they do. And then from there, it's like, you guide the conversation to eventually tell them what you do and how you can help them because in the beginning you learned about them. So now you can use that information to then guide the conversation too. I like it. I want to just, I want to say what I did, uh, you know, back then I wasn't really good at talking to people. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I just, it just, I didn't have it, you know? And for me, what I did is, is I, I practiced like Brian said, right. But I, I, I did it everywhere I could go. You know, whenever, like, yo, I would, I, all I had to do, I was like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to practice. I'm just practice talking to people, right? Because that's the, that's the biggest fear, right? Just talking to somebody, yep. right? Random people too at that. Where are you going to go find some random people? Yo, in the world. You go out there to the store, you give On them some compliments. On the streets. On the streets. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, you know, don't go to, you know, <laughs> Skid Row or something yeah. and be like, hey, I'm trying to network. What's up? But, um, you know, I go out there and. You know, give people, like, small compliments, right? Pump them up. You know, I like those shoes. You know, yo, hey, bro, like, sick lift or, or this and that, right? Practice that, right? Because, you know, you it only gets less scary by the more people you talk to, right? And why practice in the field when you could practice, like, out there, in my opinion? That's right. Yeah, and honestly, the worst thing that could happen is maybe they, the conversation just doesn't continue, but that's okay. Just yeah, move on. To the next person. Seven billion people in the world go talk to somebody else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or I think now we're, we're approaching eight billion or something like that. So yeah, yeah, there's not every conversation there. or person you meet works out, and I mean it's just yeah, a numbers man. game at the end of the day too. Yeah, dude, it's like girls, right? Yeah, like girls, like girls, man. Like, girls. like sales, like girls, like your kids, man. You gotta just keep talking to them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah. All right, guys, let's wrap up this episode here. That was a real fun one. And uh, we really appreciate you guys for listening. Do us a favor. Hit that five-star review on the podcast. Hit that five-star review on the Spotify. We really appreciate it. And let us know if you guys have any topics you want us to dive deep into. Shoot us an email or slide into one of our DMs. Oh. And we'll make sure to talk about it in our next podcast. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Peace. Peace.